Hi guys, next question is about intracranial blood volume. And let's start with an explanation of the cranium. It consists from bone, you know, brain, and of course, vessels that supply this brain with blood. And changing in any of the components will be extreme and can determine the blood uh, intracranial blood volume or even pressure so if bone is broken it can bulge outside or it can depress inside if brain have any of the formation like uh, a tumor it will compress like this side or this one or any of the supra or infratentorial and it will compress vessels and increase uh, pressure at least and of course uh, the main component of this uh, intracranial blood volume represents vessel which dilate or constrict so you see in front many drugs and what effect does that them have to the intracranial blood volume halosan is a correct answer because uh, halosan is inhalatory uh, anesthetic and many uh, many of them increase blood volume but halosan do uh, more than other inhalatory anesthetic vecuronium is a uh, neuromuscular relaxant and it, it uh, acts mostly on a uh, skeletal muscle and relax them but as you know as a practitioner uh, you can see that uh, neuromuscular blockers of act even on a smooth muscle and decrease blood pressure but it doesn't affect much intracranial blood volume cyopentone or cyopental and uh, propofol decrease intracranial blood volume by decreasing blood pressure nitroglycerin have a special effect on the circulating blood volume as it dilates um, specifically the intracranial uh, vessel and of course increase blood volume and blood circulation through this vessel of the brain and ketamine you know increase intracranial blood pressure and and by uh blood pressure and of course it increase uh peripheral peripheral vascular resistance it will increase uh pressure and increase volume so many facts that i related already you can put a pause and uh, make notes from this also you can access all these links i'll attach them down have a great time